Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. So lately I've been trying to make some more progress in this game because I know that's something I haven't done enough of. So today we're gonna take on another chapter in Uncanny Legends. Chapter 28, Laboratory Island. Now these chapters are starting to get a little more difficult but I'm sure it's nothing I can't handle, right? Well, I'm sure we'll find out anyway. Let's get started on the first stage here, Flask Hill. But not before I check to see what's actually in here, because Battle Cats, you can't have my 180 energy for nothing. And would you look at that, guys? Our new friend, John Neelian, is back again, and this time he brought a bunch of starred aliens with him. I think I'm just gonna go for a nice anti-alien loadout and destroy him! Don't I have a nice anti-alien loadout here somewhere? Yeah, I do, and look at that. We got a nice long-range Aphrodite over here. Um, yeah, you know what? This is perfect. Okay, so we're starting off with a moth here. I'm hoping that maybe can- Oh, God, Can-Can, what are you doing? Can-Can, no. Don't make me- Don't make me send out some help for you. What's going on? Oh, wait, guys, did I forget to bring a barrier breaker? Anybody, anybody here break, can break barriers? Yes, actually, I'm pretty sure our cyberpunk can. Okay, that was a little scary for a second. I think we're gonna be okay though. And with this long range Aphrodite attack, pretty sure it's not gonna be a problem once any of the starred aliens get out here or John Alien himself. I don't think he's gonna be a problem either, okay? The only thing in this level that isn't alien is a couple of red units. And do you think I'm scared by a red rhino? Come on, bro. Come on. I've got my wave blockers here. It is all good. You guys, I might not even have to kill you. I might be, I might be able to just kill the base instead. You yeah, know, well, John Elian died a horrible, painful death. That's good. Okay. Well, well, well. So far, so good, guys. Next up, Anatomy Forest. I wonder what that is. Okay, not my favorite set of enemies or anything, but I can't see this being too bad. They're all colorless, but they're not all traitless. We got a couple of floaters in there. Okay, all right, I can I can deal with that. Okay, I won't use any legend rares for this. I'll throw in is the Lady of Mourning and maybe another Uber as well. Wait, this guy is anti-traitless. Okay, we'll give you a shot. I'd like to have a little bit of fun here. Guys, I feel like the thing we definitely can't forget for this level is Octopus Cat because there's gonna be some wave attacks from Cory, and I don't wanna lose all my cats because of it. And I might put in a fish man as well. I just, I like fish man, okay? He's a cool guy. Okay, anatomy forest. Should I have had like another meat shield or something? Get, get out of here, bro. Get out of here. I'm gonna get Can Can to deal with you. Hopefully get some uh, extra money. Can we, please? No, whatever, forget it. I'll just send out a bunch of stuff so we don't die. <laughs> oh God, wait a minute. Yeah, you gotta get back. Okay, you gotta get back right now. And we'll get Iz out here. Iz gonna dance around, hurt some stuff. Anti-traitless, you'll love to see it. There goes one of the duckies. There goes the other. And we haven't seen Cory yet, but uh, there's Cory. <laughs> Just gotta keep putting out my octopuses, okay? Cory can't do nothing if I got a bunch of octopuses out here. Now, I don't know if this bird is gonna be an issue, guys. It does have the, uh, is it the toxic attack? I don't like toxic birds, man. You know, chicken is sometimes a toxic bird if you don't cook it well enough. Just a little tip for you. Don't eat pink chicken. It's like really bad for you and you could die. All right, <laughs> it's over. So far, so good, guys. Like, so good. Okay. Formalin Marina. What is a formalin, guys? I, I gotta Google this. Okay, according to my quick Google search, formaldehyde is stored as an aqueous solution called formalin. So formalin and formaldehyde are basically the same thing. Good to know. Okay, Formalin Marina is a starred alien stage, and unfortunately it also has a surge base, which could be a problem. I guess I'll go back to my alien loadout here, but this time I wanna make sure we have a good barrier breaker. Perhaps Kitty of Liberty will help out a little bit more here than Gao will, considering Gao is anti-traitless and everything is a starred alien. Let's go, starred aliens! Hello, Surge Base. You look very beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Why do none of my cat bases look as cool as you? By the way, don't surge me, bro. Oh God, what are you doing? Oh, it surged me! Boom, get out of here, I'm saving money. Oh. Killed me again. See, guys, you're gonna want to make sure that the Kitty of Liberty 
Uh, you're going to want to make sure whatever you're breaking barriers with can, can come back pretty quickly like the Kitty of Liberty can. That's what I'm trying to say here. The Surge base, though, I kind of feel like I should have brought something with Surge immunity. Do you have Surge immunity? You're dead. Okay, cool. Very cool. Are you guys touching the base? You're not touching the base, is ya? You better not be touching the base. Oh, cool snap. It's getting, it's getting spicy in here now, guys. Here comes the frog. But we've got our not-so-secret weapon, Aphrodite. Okay. Aphrodite, after all this time, is still amazing, guys. She was one of the first Ubers that I ever got. I think my first Uber was Zeus, though. If I'm uh, not mistaken, which I might be, okay? It's been years. Some of you guys go back and watch my old Battle Cats videos, but I don't. <laughs> so your memory is probably better than mine is. <sighs> okay. All right. Another one complete. No problems there. Swamp of Ignorance. What are you doing in my Swamp of Ignorance, Donkey? Swamp of Ignorance. A little bit of black, a little bit of red, and I'm a little bit sure I can beat this thing with no problems. Guys, I kind of love stages that have red enemies in them, especially if the red enemy is actually a bit of a threat, because obviously the rhino before wasn't a threat, but you know, this uh, this seahorse will be, and I love using Cutter Cat on red enemies. It's just so much fun, okay? Cutter Cat is the best. Part of me wants to get Cutter Cat up to level 40 something, but I'm not in a rush to do that. Okay, so let's just leave it for now. I need to get a couple of good, like, anti... Probably anti-red, but also I could go for anti-black. Maybe I should get a little bit of each. Maybe I should get Bomber Cat and Eye Cat. They both have a 100% chance to freeze their target. One is black, one is red. Okay, so what is our last thing gonna be here, guys? We need something that's good against... Probably traded. We could get something that's good against black and red, but I think I'm just gonna legend carry. Or at least I'm gonna try and legend carry with Gaia, just because I love Gaia, okay? And also, I gotta put this up here, so we get the little uh, cat combo bonus. You know that cat combo that's only one cat? You gotta love it. Okay, here we go. I don't, I don't know what you want from me, okay? I'm gonna just try and do a little bit of like, a little bit of, a little bit of this. We cool? Great, oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, you know what, let's just, not send out anything besides the can cans for now. See if we might actually be able to get a hit on this guy. Hit him! You hit him. That was cool. Um, wait, I forgot octopus here. Oh, what's wrong with me? What am I gonna do now? They're gonna do wave attacks to me and it's gonna hurt. No! How could I be so foolish? Surely we can still do this, right? Right, Shirley? Shirley, please! Very funny, Battle Cats. Very nice prank. I'm actually thinking that these guys won't work. Okay, they're not gonna be able to get close enough. Let's uh, let's put in like dual erasers. Okay. And what if we also put in Courier Cat? Now Courier Cat, he's an anti-red and anti-colossal, but he seems to be pretty good overall. I think people have said that to me that he's you know good for a lot of situations. So let's see if he might sort of work here. Okay. He's got long range, which is nice. This time, I don't want anyone hurting my base either, okay? I'm gonna be a little more friendly to my units. I'm a nice guy, okay? Oh, God, but what about... What is wrong with me? Am I okay? Is my brain working? Clearly, it is not working. What about Octopus? I decided to take out Sniper. I didn't think Sniper was gonna help that much. It might even mess us up. You never know. Now, with Courier, that means I can combine Courier and... Uh, this one here, and I should have probably sent out my thingamabob by now, but I didn't, but that's okay. We're, we're, we're going, okay? We're heading in. There we go. That's a lot better. Keep it up, Octopus. This is actually kind of fun when you got the right units handy. Huh? Boom! You're dead. Let me, let me level up a little bit in case we need to save a little more money, you know? I didn't think Slime Cat was gonna work so well here, guys, but he's been doing a lot of attacks. I guess it's because of the fact that the seahorse has such a long range attack. He's not gonna get hurt by that much stuff. Okay, now we're moving on to a level called Microscope Bridge. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be a pretty saucy level. We got a lot of zombies and we also have some strong angels. Maybe this is a good time to evolve a new cat. So I told you guys I've been making some progress in this game and I meant it. Take a look at all of the behemoth stones that I have now. This is enough to evolve a certain anti-angel cat. Anti-angel egg, I suppose. It's not really a cat yet. I'm talking about Amber Egg N106. This one deals massive damage to angels and if you evolve it, it becomes a super cute mushroom cat. 
As you can see, it does require a lot of stones, but that's why I have a whole bunch of stones. I want to check out this true form because I heard this egg is one of the best eggs in the game to evolve. And I feel like I don't have enough anti-angel cats. So let's go ahead and give this guy a few levels and then a few more levels and then boom, let's go. Okay. Mm <laughs> wow. Pretty nice, guys. It's got a nice little sprite, doesn't it? How many of these do I have? 28. I have 28 rare cat's eyes. I'm gonna give you three, okay? So you're not gonna be on courier cat's level, but this is sort of like the courier cat to angel colossals, because courier cat is best against the uh, red colossal bird. This guy should be pretty good against an angel colossal. Such as this disgusting creature known as Angelic Beast Rajakhan. Now guys, I'm not really sure what to do for a loadout for this level because I'm gonna need a nice balance between anti-zombie and anti-angel. So let me see what I can come up with. Okay, let's try this. So I've got a meat shield and then I've got ramen and qigong for the angel and the zombie. I got this guy because I like him. This guy because I want to try him out. We all love Can Can. This is gonna knock back angels. Hopefully that helps a little bit. You know why I have this guy in my loadout. You know why I have her and you know why I have him. So let's give this a shot. Well, first of all, oh, maybe not. I was gonna say, first of all, I'm just gonna take my time. You better not like miss every single time, girl. Come on, boom, there you go. We gotta get some money from this, okay? Very important. And we gotta have a little mix of Shigangs here along with the, uh, the ramens because we do have some zombies but let's keep saving money we're almost up to the to the max it's a pretty good way to start a level i'm not gonna lie here's our mushroom guys look at this cute little thing spinning around look at all those pixels guys huh what a beautiful cat and uh it's fairly spammable as well i'm pretty sure i just gotta cross my fingers now and hope for the best mushroom get out of here no mushroom don't die to that thing that'd be bad mushroom is not dying so that's nice Mushroom has a little bit of range. Not a ton, but a little bit. Oh dear. Okay, so now we just have a couple of weak zombies that are kind of in front of the angel we're attacking. Be nice to have a Benkai here, I know, but well, hang on. Okay, there are two Dobermans here, guys. Now there's one Doberman here. <laughs> Thank you, Benkai. Now there's still one, but maybe, maybe the mushroom helps. Maybe we, I don't know, I don't know what killed it that time. Okay. Good, 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 good. I thought that was gonna be a little more difficult than it was. Okay, final level, burning blue. I think we're gonna need critical hitters and slapstick cats. Well, one thing we're gonna need is anti-wave attack. So let's just kind of mess with our metal loadout here. Make it a little bit better. Take out some stuff that's not so good. We gotta have our octopus in here. This guy's actually resistant to metal and relic which is nice i know i can still take some things out if i want but let's say i don't i have room for one more cat and i'm gonna put in slapsticks we'll adjust this after this is a uh, non uber carry let's go oh god please don't kill me that would be really embarrassing nice surge idiot really great job really 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 doing a really good job over here bang look at that that's gone already that's nice uh we chilling we chilling and we vibing. I don't know why I'd want to go any faster. I actually would like to slow down, if I'm honest. Well, they're very slowly destroying the base. And we actually managed to uh, go back to here so that I don't have to activate the base yet. I should have got some anti-surge, guys. But I didn't get no anti-surge. That's all right. Click, click, click. It'll all be over soon. Oh, God. We're getting destroyed anyway. Hey, Corey. What you doing, Corey? You mind telling some of these guys to get out of here? I don't like them. Well, this ain't terrible, right? We could do this. We can do this. We just need to try a little harder. Try a little harder. Get that dog out of here, maybe. Whoa. Wow, woo wee wah. This might actually be working. Now that's what I call Poggers AF. Oh, beautiful. Whoa, beautiful.
Well, guys, I gotta be honest, I thought that was gonna be at least a little more difficult. I thought at least one of those stages would have given me a run for my money, but I'm okay with it not being a bad time. All right, guys, I really wanna try out our little mushroom a bit more, so let's do Lava Caves Area 10. This one has the Colossal Angel Gorilla in it. And the good news is I pretty much already have a loadout for it. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot, okay? So the thing is, guys, because this little mushroom is a Colossal Slayer and it does massive damage to angels, you end up with something that does a lot of damage to an angel Colossal. And I wanna see it in action. I might have to get rid of this little ant with the big booty. Okay, made a bunch of money. I think we're okay. Ramen and this thing. Let's go. We're going to get them, okay? We're going to... Oh, God. Look, there's so many. I shouldn't have sent out this. That was a little bit rude, wasn't it? See, there's the problem of the ants, guys. There's too many ants. Hey, Mushroom. Is you helping or what? Come on, Mushroom. Get in there and somebody, somebody hurt the thing, okay? So that's good. Look at that mushroom go, guys. You you can't really see it, but the mushroom is going. Okay, the mushroom is attacking this thing. Is he doing it well? I don't know. I think so. Look at that. Look at this. We're just knocking him back. Bang, 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 bang. Get out of bed here. No, not. Don't do that. Benkai, you're not supposed to. Okay, we're trying to. Benkai, why are you like this? Okay, guys, that combination of ramen and mushroom against the gorilla was actually, like, really nice. Okay. I mean, in a level like this, it's a little bit complicated because there are other things that aren't angels. But it was turning out really well. Okay, I got a yellow stone from that. That's cool. That's about what you'd expect from a yellow thing. All right, guys, I think it's time to go to an all angel stage. You may already know this, but my least favorite angel is Sleipnir. I don't know if the mushroom can do anything to Sleipnir, but I want to find out because that would be pretty sweet if he could. Are you ready for this amazing strat? It's called the ramen mushroom strat. Sometimes I put mushrooms in my ramen. I don't, but I could. It's an option when I order my ramen. Guys, I got some bad news. The Clional is killing my mushrooms. Clional, if you could just stop with that attack, I could actually use my little mushy boy, but no. That would be just too much to ask for now, wouldn't it? I'm gonna kill you guys so hard right now, okay? I am mad at you now. I am mad. Well, guys, I'm going to an easier level, okay? I just I just wanted a level that actually let my mushroom attack. Look at him go. He's actually pretty strong, isn't he? But, oh, did he just... Look at that. Look at him go. Angel doges don't matter to this guy. He, he can actually 1v1 the angels, guys. And it's an area attack too. Now, we might still have an issue here because that is a full-on cyclone. But if, if these guys could could hurt him a little bit, that'd be great. Yeah, no, I didn't think so, but that's cool. He can get a couple of attacks in, guys, but not really enough. Okay. <laughs> Look, I gotta say, this is a strong little unit. In the right situation, this guy is gonna absolutely shred because I just saw him do that to the angel doge. Well guys, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't super excited to try out Mushroom Cat more in the future. What a lovely addition to my team. What a beautiful cat. And the fact that it can 1v1 an angel doge is the icing on the cake for me. Anyway guys, that's where I'm gonna end this episode of Battle Cats. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button and let me know down below in the comments if you wanna see more videos on Uncanny Legends in the future. And also let me know which egg you want me to evolve next. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you wanna check out another one of my videos, how about that one? How about it? <laughs>